Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Sales Course Hunt. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about the Summer 24 new feature regarding Flow that is Lock Unlock Record using Flow. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel. Also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. Okay, so please don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn something new. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, let me log in into my org. So now you can see I just logged in into my org. So what is the lock and lock record in Flow? Because uh, previously it was done by the Apex. But uh, for now in this release we can do this feature or we can do this functionality using Flow. No need worry about single line of code. Just you can use Flow and we can add the action and we can perform the lock and lock the process. Okay. So now how we can do that? But before that, you have to consider in your mind, some admin can do everything, like let's say create, update, delete, right? But another user and another profile user don't have that kind of privileges. So that's why it's applicable for the others. Lock and lock record we can perform using another user because system admin can do everything. Every time you can edit, create, delete, everything. How we can do that? So let me log in to my org. So you can see my org, right? So just you have to do one thing. Let me click on this gear icon, click on setup and you have to create a new flow. So how we can create the flow? So under the cube file, you have to search like flow, click on the flows. And once you clicked on this flows, now you can create a new flow. So in this case, I'm using contact as a, you know, object. And based on the contact record, we can see how we can lock and rock record using flow. So let me select this template, start from scratch. Click next and this is the screen flow create and here you can see this one. So before that, let me create one resource that is record ID, create the variable and here let's say record ID as say text type. Okay, mm -hmm. like this. Okay, so it's applicable for input. Click on the done. So we have one resource under here. You can see the action, right? you can click on the action under the action we have like log and log record okay so first of all let me tell you and let me show you the one first way like log the record after that we will see like how to unlock the record so here you have to search like log the record so this is the action okay so you have to search it like log the record under here this is the api name automatic populated if you need to change it you can change it it's up to you okay so now you can see the action under here this is a two things required you can see these two things is a required here right so this one please keep in your mind this is the optional part like allow id is the optional part but you have to give these two value this one like action and record id that is the required field so under action how we can perform the action so there are two types of action please keep in your mind one is like log okay like lock and second one is unlock okay unlock so you have to keep in your mind this word lock unlock there are two types of action so you have to consider it first of all let me add that log here like log you have to type like log now you can see the action and record id so what is the record id so you can provide the record id here so i already created the resource so i can add that one record id here now you can see the record id allow id basically used for you know if you have like a, a user or you know queue so you can add that here as well so for now i'm not using this option so you can just disable it like that now it's time to activate this flow and save this so just click on the save let's say log contact record okay just click on the save once you clicked on the save now our flow is saved now let me activate this once you activate it just go to the your object that is contact and let me click on this gear icon let me click on this edit object and once you clicked on this edit object now you have to do one thing here under button and links you have to create you know new action click on new here you have to select like as a flow like action type as a flow there are so many flow so you have to use log contact record so this is our flow. You can give the name, let's say log 
contact something like that click on the save now here you can see our uh, action is created that is a log contact under the page layout i want to use that action so just open the contact layout under the contact layout just open here mobile and lightning action and just search that is log contact here you can see just drag and drop like in this area like log contact click on the save once you save it now you have to do one thing just open the any contact as you have or so here we have lots of record so let me open the contact one let me open the contact so we have contacts here right so let me open the contact and here i want to log some record so let's say i want to log this post to method to right so just click on this one this record click on this log record now our flow is successfully done and uh, you can see that your flow is finished and this record is logged that is post to method to so let me copy this one and let me log into the another user that is john wick under here now you will be see this record under the contact and the here all contact here let me search that one yeah post to method to here you can see right so just you can open this one this record and try to modify this record so this time you will be get an error definitely because we already logged this record so no one can modify this one so let me click on this edit click on the save now you can see immediately review this arrow on this page this record is logged if you need to edit this record please contact your admin so here you can see the error message okay so if you need to modify this record then you have to contact with your admin and then admin can unlock this record and you after that you can modify this record so how we can pro process this process so just close it log out this user and now let me after that we have to create a new flow so how we can create the flow just you have to search here like flow for unlocking so just search the flow so here you can see the flow and under this flow let me click on new let me create a new flow from scratch screen flow under here let me create one resource first that is record id as an input type so here let's say record id and this is a text one that's input type click on done now i can add my action like action and this time we can unlock the record okay previously we already seen like how to log the record now this time how we can unlock the record so under here you have to search like uh, so here you can see lock record or we can change let's say uh, you can leave it as it is as we have okay and we have to provide here unlock previously it was block but right now you can see the un unlock now record id here you can see just click on the save and let's say unlock contact record okay click on the save and once you clicked on the save just let me activate this flow don't forget it to activate it okay now our flow is activated now how we can test it so under object contact object let me edit that object here and uh, under this object we have to create new button click and action so that is new action and here we have to add like our flow and our flow name is unlock we have to check unlock contact record let's say unlock contact something like that. click on the save once you save it now our action is created just go to the page layout edit this page layout and now you have to add that uh, page layout in the mobile and lightning so you have to search like unlock so you can just drag and drop like this after lock you can see log contact and log contact just click on the save once you save it now you have to do one thing open this record because it's already logged right we already tested now how to unlock it so just click on this one gear icon and edit this page once you edit this page now you have to add some condition because system admin can see this lock and lock option but another user i don't want to show this one that's why so click on this highlight panel and here i can add my action right so how we can add the action very simple 
okay so we already have like unlock one so let me check that one or otherwise we can create new one okay so let me check first unlock one we have or not so we don't have so we can create new let's say new action an action here that is unlock content okay so let me select this one okay let me select this one and add some condition like advance select the field and field name is user here we have like profile so you have to search like profile the profile and the profile name so here name I click on done and that is equal to system administrator so just let me copy this one system admin can see this one right so just go here click on done done so now you can see the unlock right so i can make it as a top this one near to our log record okay so now here you can see lock and lock just click on the save okay once you save it just go back here now you have to do one thing just click on this unlock contact you can see because unlocked we already seen this record is logged okay and nobody can modify this record except system admin so just click on this unlock record so now you can see our flow is successfully finished just click uh, this clause login into the another user and now this time we can try to modify this record so this will be available definitely just click on this contact open the contact that is post to method 2 so let me search post to method 2 and now this time we can modify this record just let me click on this edit and now you can click on the save now you can see we can modify the record with the user with another user okay so this is how we can log unlock the record using flow in summer 24 release so this is a very good features and very best feature instead of apex we can use this uh, automation things inside the salesforce in this release so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments also subscribe the channel for more updates so don't forget it to turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys see you again bye bye